seconds. Sorry, bear with me just one moment. I'm just getting a coffee. I'll be with you momentarily. Just finding my mug. Yeah. Hang on a second. Hey, gorgeous. How are you doing? Are you being good? Are you being good? <sighs> Who's your good dog? Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome. Bear with me just one moment. I think a dog wants a treat. Would you like a treat? What's this? She's not sure about these ones. She does like them. She had them when she was a puppy. But I think she's being picky because she wants the really nice ones. What's that? Huh? What's that? What's that? Ooh, just push it. <laughs> yeah, she'll go for it if she wants it. Anyway, hi. Hi and welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a nice Monday. Apologies for my no-show this morning. I had lots of chores that I needed to do, and I really had to go get on with them early so I could crack on with editing later, the, well, later this afternoon, which is what I did, and it was good. So today, I've been working on Space Engineer's Bullshittery, part four. So far, so good. Work continues on the fourth week. I'm currently in the 8th minute, roughly. There's a bit of a complicated section in the 8th minute of the edit. Normally these edit, well, these edits are about 10, 10 minutes long, so the 4th week would be the final week where I just finish off the last bit and then start the quality assurance. Unfort well, this is two bullshitteries back to back, it's 20 minutes long, so ooh, it's going to take me longer than 4 weeks. I will do my best, but holy shit, there's still much to do, much to do indeed. <clears throat> oh. Thank you, Camasero, Stuntsman, Viking, uh, wait, sorry, Viking Riley, Stuntsman Meg, Stuntsman even, not Stuntsman, Flare Runes, Apocalyptic Voodoo, and uh, I Faster. Thank you, all of you. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. I'm ignoring this? What am I ignoring? What is that? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What's Digi done? That's horrible. Has he done that? Yeah. He's taken that emote, that thing. Okay. Digi, we're going to have words. Thank you, The Rock Type, and Glam is Night, and Duplav. Like, sorry, can I just say, I like how this, what's happened here. So effectively, because I won't use some emotes, such as, like, Womble Daddy, or whatever the fuck you weirdos want me to have as the emotes, my clan mates are trolling me by having those emotes. So it, my, my clan mates are getting subs just to wind me up. And honestly, fair play. They've always done that, right from the very beginning of the clan. Cunts. <laughs> Will I ever play the culling again? Oh, it's long dead, Nubus. No, holy shit, it's long, long dead. No one really plays the culling. Not even sure if servers are up anymore. Oopsie. Hmm. Which clan mates? Eh, all of them. If they've got ZF in, Z in front of their name. Thank you, Wien. Thank you very much, Wien. Ouch. Owie, 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 owie. Sorry, I just put some antiseptic hand gel on my hand, and I've managed to cut myself without noticing. Owie, 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 that's very, very painful. Sorry, bear with me. Is it splinter? No, just randomly cut myself. How oh, weird. Never mind. It's a man up. Thank you, Shamrock. Thank you very much, Shamrock. Okay, so, welcome to RimWorld. If you're not familiar with RimWorld, I very, very strongly recommend it. It's effectively an adventure game in which you play as a group of, well, you play controlling a group of people who have crash landed on a RimWorld. So a world on, on a world on the galactic rim. Sorry, bear with me just a second. Right. Moving my coffee out of the way. So, 
what's the idea? What's the, what's the nature of the game for those that haven't seen this? Effectively, you've just got to survive as long as you can. The game is a random, like, random event adventure game in which you've got to manage the individual, I suppose, uh, requirements of each, individu of each individual person and the colony as a whole. You can order them around to give them specific orders, but for the most part they'll do their own thing. It's very much like The Sims in that regard. But all of these people have their own personalities and, and their own, I suppose, strengths and weaknesses and skill sets. And they've got just, well, they've just got to try and survive for as long as they can, really. And survival is not guaranteed. Not on the Rimworld. Uh, this place is very, very dangerous. How did we get here? It's unspecified. Some sort of accident has occurred. I was going to show you the main screen there, but it wouldn't appear. I guess it loaded too quickly. Um, effectively, there is a large ship in orbit which appears to be breaking up. Some sort of unspecified accident, incident, deliberate, whatever. No idea. But something has caused lots of cryopods to rain down from orbit from a ship that appears to be exploding. And so all of these individual colonies are, well, just that. They're groups of survivors who have banded together and are now fighting over the resources of the old world with also the presence of tribals. So humans were already on this world. How? It's not entirely clear. I think there are ruins of cities. There are certainly roads. So this place has had settlements on it before. But uh, yeah, the history of the Rim world is not entirely clear. But uh, regardless, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is trying to survive for the next day. So yes, welcome indeed, everyone. Okay, so quick introductions. So welcome to the uh, yeah, so to Columbus Creek. This is the name of the colony for those that haven't for those that haven't seen it. We've gone through quite a few trials and tribulations in the last in the last nine years or so, moving from a base about two kilometers north of here, which was called what was it called? Fuck. I've already forgotten its name. Sorry, what was it called? Neverglade. That was it. We named it Neverglade. However, Neverglade had a serious problem in the form of murderous robots nearby, and we had to evacuate. So we fled down here to this swampy creek and called it Colomus Creek after the medic who gave his life saving people from malaria when we first arrived. So yes, here we are. Over the course of nine years, we've resisted. So it's, the colony started off yay big, like these rooms here then this courtyard here, and then we grew gradually, section by section, room by room, until we have a quite a sizable thing going on here. Anyway, our first colonist is the 45-year-old Chucky. He's a former artist, to, well, he's an architect and an artist, but he's pretty much the de facto leader of the colony after the death of Jonah. Everyone likes Chucky, he's very popular. He's got his mum here with him, Batman, or I'm Batman is her name. Uh, proof that doesn't matter how far you go in the galaxy, you'll never escape your mum. He is here working in the kitchens for the most part. He would love to work on artwork, but frankly, he's just too skilled in the cul culinary department to let him go. Anyone else who tries to go into the kitchen tends to give food poisoning to the rest of the colony. So Chucky is being invaluable in there. He also can't fight for Toffee, so there's no sense putting him on the front line. Next we have Podo, a 61-year-old man, former Alzheimer's sufferer, and he did have a girlfriend, didn't he, many years ago? Norlock, that was it. She died, sadly, I think like five, six years ago. Um, he had Alzheimer's, but we were able to find nanomachines to fix it, a sort of extremely rare archaeotech. He also had a sister called Ben. She's also dead, sadly. She died of... Well, I suppose natural causes. Malari well, we had malaria at the time, but her kidneys just failed. She was just too old. She died of kidney failure. Um, so he's alone. But, um, yeah, he's doing his best. He handles most of the, the planting, the farming. Oh, and some construction work. Yeah, he's okay. Sisler, the 62-year-old very, very cranky old man who poodles around the colony. Did I give him a replacement spine? I did. He had a really bad back, but we've improved it with technology. So he is here doing most of the building, grumbling, and then shooting enemies with his charged lance rifle. So a very powerful sniper rifle type thing. Hi there, Digi. Fuck you, Digi, for that emote. Oh, dear. Yes, indeed. You, have, you and I are going to have more words. And bullets. Oh, and thank you, Baron and Seawolf and Attrition and Raijo and Yusku and Michael and Aristotle, Ineni and Oswat and Shamrock. And Wooksy, holy shit all of you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you. 
Thank you, Hedonistic. Anyway, sorry, Sisla. So Chucky the Cook, Podo the Alzheimer's Sufferer, Sisla the Cranky Builder. Farinir is the 33-year-old servant. Well, like, servant girl, I suppose. Manservant. She effectively is serving as the, well, colony's cleaner. Going around and cleaning up after everyone else. It may not be very glamorous, but someone's got to do it. You right, honey bunny? And Farinir does it very well. She is, however, completely incapable in combat. Also, very recently... Is Sarah Sunshine Farinir... Did I remember correctly? Hang on. Yes! So, uh, her mum actually arrived, Sarah Sunshine, and this music is a little bit too loud. Bear with me just a second. So I'm just going to turn that down. Teensy weensy too loud. I'll turn it up for you. Hang on. Turn it down for me, turn it up for you. There we go. So yes, Farinir's mum has arrived. Uh, so Chucky has his mum here, and Farinir also has her mum. So, um, yeah, they're together, at least. So they were able to reunite. So Farinir does a lot of the cleaning. Batman is a bit of a character. She's 59 years old and Chucky's mum. She's the hound mistress here in the colony and she handles the training of most of the wargs. She lost her leg. She randomly attacked animals in the middle of her own wedding when she was married to uh, Sisla, who I suppose is Chucky's uh, stepfather now. It's complicated. But she decided to break up her own wedding because she went into a mental breakdown. So, yeah, she's a bit crazy. She also lost her leg in a grenade accident. Well, an attack. It also cost her two of her dogs, sadly. But she is pretty handy with a sword and assists in the defense of the colony. Gumball is an evangelist preacher, the only one now, and with the death of Jonah, who handles our communication with other tribes. She is 41 and is fairly good at fighting, is quite volatile, is a cannibal, but it hasn't really come up yet, really. She's also very, very clever. Finn over here. What was Finn's deal? Surgeon. Capable warrior. Fights a lot for the colony, as you can see. Quite kind. Oh, yes. Drug problem? Drug problem. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. I must be thinking of someone else. Yes. Finn, a capable warrior. Oh, yes. Her father died a couple of years ago. Walking lettuce. Shot in the heart. Hmm. It was too late. Lawfoot over here. The tribal inventor. Mostly keeps to himself. Bit of a loner. 39 years old. Works in the workshop. Mr. Stromax, 57-year-old, blacksmith, again, quite cranky. Uh, he lost his daughter. She used to be a colonist here a long time ago, but she died long before Mr. Stromax arrived. He handles the manufacture of quite a lot of equipment. Psyche, 50, 51 years old, a very capable warrior, former factory worker, and he's given pretty much the lion's share of the military equipment, such as power armor or weaponry. He's armed with a minigun and he's playing cards. El Caro, the 27-year-old janitor, so similar to Farinir, does a lot of the heavy lifting, I suppose, around the colony. She's also very, very good with the animals. Hmm. Here we have Black Snow over here, a former slave that we purchased from a wandering merchant just to get, well, we needed, we had lots of money and we needed more hands on deck, so we decided to relieve a, lo a local tribal trader of one of their slaves. Sorry, bear with me. Black Snow is a bit interesting because they were actually, according to their bio, a Navy engineer, or rather a ship engineer. Chief engineer. They might know something about the cryo ship accident before they were, you know, escaped the ship and were bought, well, captured and dragged into slavery. But so far, she's been keeping quiet on that. And Sarah Sunshine, very, very new joiner. So this one just crash-landed nearby. Turns out it was Farinir's mum, so we got her with us. She's actually very capable. Burning passion for construction work and is fairly good in the melee. So we best get her more equipment as quick as we can. And nearby, about two kilometres to the north, we have an away team in the form of Lady Tigress, Adderall, Pharaoh and Social. So this is a group of four that have just been sent to a small camp along with the animals due to the lack of any, well, much grass at the time. Oh wow, that grows quick. Nice. Yes, we basically sent all of the animals to a nearby, a nearby tile to the north, I'll show you. So you see here, here's the camp. Colomas Creek, and here they are, so just up here. That was our first landing site. So yeah, the only reason they're up there is just to get some grazing field and gather as much steel as they can, and then to bring it back home effectively. So um, yeah, hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hairball, and I.E. Geth, 
So quick introductions. Lady Tigress is, well, known as Mega Ho. She is an extremely famous prostitute who used to be the, well, the daughter of a, a famous dictator somewhere on another planet. So she has augmented herself cosmetically to look attractive to the opposite sex and was basically well renowned for her certain set of skills. Um, so she is 25. When she first arrived, she was ludicrously incapable. She genuinely was useless. She has since really pulled her socks up. Holy shit. She has pulled her socks up and she is now a very capable builder. So Lady Tigress handles a lot of the building and well done to her. Good with her hands. Good with her hands. This is Adderall. He's a military tactician, 44. Also handles a lot of the fighting around the colony, which is good because he defends the colony, but bad in that the first thing that Adderall and Lady Tigress did when they got here was beat the snot out of each other, which is why they're currently in bed with bruises and... Lady Tigress, did you bite him on the mouth? You animal. So they're resting, having kicked the shit out of each other, and social system a former settler, and Pharaoh, a nudist counsellor, are both here to assist. So I sent these two to help out while these two idiots rest. Social System is an enthusiastic settler who obviously joined the colony program or whatever this was, this, this cryo ship, in order to help out. But he is, however, very useless. His skill set is eh, a little bit better now, but yeah, it could be a lot better. And Pharaoh is a nudist counsellor who... Uh, uh, I don't think getting his knob out during council meetings is particularly... Anyway, um, he is a nudist counsellor who is currently getting some metal right next to a bear. Okay. Out, out, out. Out, out, out. Get get out. Before... Oh, oh yes, of course. One of our cows got killed by the bear. Oh, he might be okay. Where is Jen, the rock type? Jen is in Tundrafall. Tundrafall is up here. Right there, in fact. It's the same map as I always do. It's, it's the sexy egg world. So my previous uh, colony, the jungle one, uh, the leafy crevice is over there somewhere. Tundra Fall is up there, working on their escape ship, and we're here. So yeah. Thank you, Shin uh, sorry, Shin Shinra Yuka, Yuka, and Malkane, and Wig, and Topo, and Abaddon Live, and Mr. Hairball. Thank you, all of you. Right, let's crack on. So quick thing. Social is just off to provide medical attention. That's fine. Don't use the meds because we don't have many. Yep, you can do that. So tend to him and then tend to Lady Tigress and get them both fed. Pharaoh, get that steel and get out of there. I'm also going to cancel the job to work on the steel there. Thank you, Emperor Le Wait. The Emperor, Le Emperor Lelouch Karu compunctious every day and porter. Hi there, porter. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Okay, so what do we need? Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Finn? Finn, where is your weapon? You're off to work on plant steel. Oh, hello. A meteorite has been detected. Whereabouts? Uranium. Very useful. To the north camp. We should get hold of that. The uranium can be used... No, wait. Is uranium used for advanced, comp advanced components or not? Hang on. Advanced components require... No, it's not. Nevertheless, we can mine it and sell it. Let's definitely get hold of that. Okay. So, Pharaoh, come back. Social, come back. Uh, what's everyone doing? So, the escape ship is still being built, everybody. But the good news is we've actually managed to get most of the steel. The main things that we require now are advanced components and uh, the AI persona core. That second part is going to be quite tricky. Hmm. Okay, so for the now, for now, let's keep gathering steel. Let's keep working on the base defenses. Our combat abilities are fairly low, so preparation is the key. Let's get as many turrets on as po well, built as possible. What's everyone doing? Chucky's making food. Podo's sowing some crops. Sisla is going for some food. What's the time? It's eight. Sorry, six in the evening on the eleventh day of summer. Okay. After your food, can you go work on those walls? What's Farinir doing? Cleaning. Carry on. Batman is training the dogs. Gumball is resting. Why is Gumball resting? Blood loss. Oh, you were attacked by a warg? Oh. Must have gone weird at some point. Okay. Right. Finn is off getting plaster. Sorry, Finn, I'm going to interrupt you. Haul this in. We do need plasteel, but more importantly, I need my people ready for a fight. 
if you get if you get jumped and you've got your pants down, go and get that assault rifle. It's not great, it's not terrible. Thank you, Thy Duck of Bread. Thank you. That's true. Uranium for the caskets. Do we have enough? We might have already acquired enough. I think we're okay. We're okay, Dusk. Okay, so they're resting here. So, yeah, soon it's night time. I should pull these animals back as soon as I can. They're a bit helpless up here. Okay. A rat has become self-tamed. Where is that? It's the... Uh, we don't really need a tame rat. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay, Chinu. I'm okay. Hope you're well. Work was fine. Just cracked on with the editing. Went Christmas shopping. Bought lots of chocolates. Yeah. Things are good. Sorry, what's Sisla doing? I told you to... Can you work on it as a priority? We need to get these walls built. Also, this place is covered in guts and stuff. Hmm. What's Snow doing? Off to get some metal. Uh, what are your building skills like, Snow? Pretty good. Can I ask that you work on... Yeah, we need to get these outer defences repaired. Wait, hang on. Are you restricted? No. Thank you, Osnaralu and Sondikes. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Most of the crops still haven't been sown. Oh, yes, we had a radiation event, didn't we? Sorry, toxic fallout. Yikes. We don't have long to fill the storerooms. Fuck. Okay. We've got to fill the storerooms with as much hay as possible to keep the animals alive over the winter. You're telling me it's the... We've got four days till autumn? Ooh. Okay, we need to stockpile food then. Right. What's social doing? Extreme break risk, Sarah Sunshine. What's wrong? She's sad, low, oh, high psychic drone. Okay, I didn't spot that. There's a high psychic drone. Uh, could you please drop that weapon? Just in case you go a bit stir crazy. Right, so a lot of our ladies are suffering because they can hear voices in their head. Right. Could you go and get some nice food? What's that made out of? Yorkshire Terrier. Ugh. That must be why Chucky's making lavish meals. Yeah, I ordered him to do that to counteract the psychic drone. Farinir, could you also get some nice food? Thank you, Wildlife Panda. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, just need to micromanage their moods for a moment. No, Sarah Sunshine and El Caro are yelling at each other. Uh, sorry? El sorry, Sarah Sunshine insulted El Caro's son's honesty. Okay. Why? Who's El Caro's son? She doesn't even have a son. What are you on about? Thank you, Dilla and Andy. Hope you're both well. Thank you. Okay, get some nice food. Okay. And off to cut the grass, that's fine. Wait, you're off to cut the grass? What does that mean? Cutting grass? Oh, I see. Clearing the field. Who are you? Oh, bunch of travellers. Alright. So what's going on over here? So the northern team... Okay, Pharaoh's pulling away that meat. Hmm. All well and good, but that's what the bear was eating. We're going to hunt that bear. But the only pe the only people that can do it would be Lady Tigress and Adderall. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Alex Norwegian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Chucky, uh, that's fine. You can stand down. I'm going to restrict the lavish meals and save them for the ladies while the Psychic drone is in effect. For those joining the stream, welcome. Uh oh. Uh, Snow is off to have a tantrum. She's off to smash up random items of furniture. That's okay. Uh, let's just check the wildlife. Do we have any predators in this area? Nope, we're safe. What about this area? Oh, fuck me. A warg, a wolf, and a grizzly. Okay, it's not too bad. Sorry, where is the warg? 
over there. And where is the timber wolf? Over there. So they're all to the east. Okay. I need you two to wake up soon, please, because you two have the firearms necessary to hunt those animals. We need to make sure that this place is safe for our animals, of course. Okay. Pharaoh, what are you doing? You're off to rest. Um, before you do... It's Adderall's bedroom. Sorry, why so many beds? I've got a huge number of beds here. Um, Pharaoh, can I make that your room? Just to split everyone up for the minute. Uh, do you need to go to bed right now? Can you just... Hang on. Pharaoh, while that bear is not hungry, while it's sleeping, can you run out and just haul some steel in so that we can launch it back to the base? Social, what are you doing? You have to rest. Can you haul that wood in? So here at the northern camp, we have these transport pods. I'm going to use them to transfer as, mu as many resources back as possible. Hmm. Oh, God, did you? Thank, uh, hi, uh, wait, sorry. Thank you, Tate Mars. Thank you, sir. Hope you're well. Thank you. Okay. Just need to make sure everyone's busy. So Chucky's resting. Podo's resting. Sisla's working on some spike traps. Good. Okay. Everyone's going to bed. Well, it's 10 in the evening. Let everyone rest. Apart from Snow, who's kicking the shit out of the doorway. Thank you, Slime and Lady Like. Thank you. Oh. Aha. One of our wargs has given birth to two little baby wargs. Oh. <laughs> Let's give them names. So the first one is a male. Let's pick a name from the chat, shall we? Thank you, thank you Omniscience. Thank you. And Ladylike. Eh, that's good enough, I think. Thank you, Osiru. Om... Yes. Yance. Wait. I haven't spelled that properly. Omniscience is the male. Good. The other one's female. That works. So the other one will be... Lady... Like. There we go. Sorted. Welcome to the world. What will your roles be? Oh, I think we'll attack you to... Uh, we'll train you to attack the enemy. And bite people's arms off. <laughs> okay, Batman, you have two new wards. What's the Lawfoot doing? Oh, hang on. People are very upset. Where's, where's El Caro? Off to haul milk. No, can you go to bed? Fuck. Wait, why are you going all the way over there? Oh, shit. Why not just... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I think she's gonna have, she's gonna have a mental breakdown. Sarah's sleeping. But El Caro is not. What's Lawfoot doing? He's working making some trousers. Lawfoot, why are you not making advanced components? Because we don't have materials. What are we missing? Glass steel. Alright. The music is distorted, is it? Thank you, Jacket Potato. Thank you. Is the music distorted? Oh, hello. It's fine, fine. Hmm. There's a flash storm to the north. Oh dear. That could, yeah, that could prove, prove a problem. We've got a wooden base, so best watch that one. Thank you, um, do, do Billy Doop. Thank you very much, do Billy. So based on the amount of grass that's now grown over here, I think it would be wise to send the animals back. Oh no! No! That's what I was worried about. El Caro is off to attack the animals. Shit. She's off to slaughter the animals. That's not good. So the janitor, El Caro, is off to attack. Trouble is we don't have... Okay, here's the problem. We don't have many, like cuddly animals here. We've got wargs. So if she runs into the room of like a warg, she's going to get her face bitten off. So I need a couple of my colonists to wake the fuck up and restrain her. 
Okay. Which which entrance is she going to be using? Where'd she go? She's going to the north entrance. Uh, yeah, okay. We've got a restrainer. So let's send. I'm sorry to wake you up, Batman. Is your leg fixed? Uh, yeah. Okay, Batman, on your feet. Try not to disturb your husband. Okay, Finn. Yep. Go, go, go. I'd send Gumball, but she's a bit injured. <laughs> oh shit, no, I can't send Batman. Damn, she's got the wargs with her. Whoops. You gotta send Finn. Finn's gotta do it. Fuck. Lawfoot, can you assist just in case? Yes, you can. Quick. Here we go. Right, drop that sword. Okay, Finn, approach. Shit, wrong door. Lawfoot, you're gonna have to do it. She's gone through the rec room. You gotta. Shit. Oh, I see, because, yeah, we built this section now. I've changed the, the layout. Your weapon. So Lawfoot, approach and try to arrest her. Ah, that's what I feared. She's gone berserk. Fuck. Okay, you got to punch her down. Finn's pretty damn. So the tribal inventor Finn is pretty incapable in, in melee fighting. Ah, oh, damn. Don't send Batman. She's got. Fuck. Just, just do it quickly, Batman. No, the wargs have all woken up. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Calm down. That's it. Knock her out. Just knock her out. Don't kill her. Oh, she's down. There we go. She's okay. Some bruises, but she'll be okay, especially with our medical attention. Well done, Morfoot. Well done. He's in a little pain, but he's mostly okay. Right, so pick up your weapon and just go rest. Finn, pick up your weapon. Focus on that and then go rest. Okay, just go rescue. Okay. Wait, what weapon did you just grab? Oh, that was her gun. You've just traded guns. Whoops. It's fine. Okay, Snow is chilled out now. Okay, there we go. Finn is now carrying uh, El Caro to the infirmary. Extreme break risks, Snow and Sunshine, but they're sleeping, right? Snow's on her way to get some food, then she'll sleep. All right. Probably quite cathartic. The flash storm is over. Good. Lady Tigress is stirring in her sleep. Sorry, why is that stored there? It's a perfectly good... Fr Put the damn dead cow in the freezer. Okay. So yes, I hope everyone's okay. Welcome indeed. Hi there, Joink. Hello, Joink. ZF Joink's in the chat, everyone. Hope you're okay, sir. Uh, Joink, if you can verify that that's you through Steam, I'll give you a mod if you want. Just to make sure it's not some random dude. Um, okay, where's El Caro? So injuries. Yeah, let's get you properly sorted. Who can handle the doctoring? So Chucky, Sisler, Finn. Okay. Damn. Still hasn't quite slept yet. Chucky. Sorry, what am I doing? Medical. Just, just lay there for a little bit, El Caro. Someone will be over soon. Thank you, Corhard and Haynes. Thank you. All right. Sorry, bear with me a second. Do, 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 do. Cool, cool. Hang on a second. Thank you, Rang L22. Thank you very much. There he is. Just to mark you out in the chat. Hmm. Thank you, Corhard Haynes, Mr. Fallout, Do Billy, and Jacket Potato. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Okay. So, it's the 12th day of summer on the ninth year. The focus for the colony right now needs to be getting our defense, well, getting our food stocks back up in preparation for winter, getting as much plasteel as we can and generally polishing up the defences of the base, which are a bit rubbish. So, yeah. 
El Caro can walk again, but someone needs to come over and tend to your injuries. Let's also... No, keep herbal medicine for now. Our existing decent medicine is not... We don't have a huge amount of it. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. Hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, Lulu's resting. So Sarah, El Caro, and Adderall are all super upset. Can you walk, Adderall? You can. Oh, I see. Addiction. Yeah. Okay, we need to get Adderall back home then. Addiction to Psychite. We don't have any of that here. We've got it back at the main base. You best get with the animals and head back south. I'll send you now. You're ready to go. So Adderall, let's get you... What about Lady Tigress? Hang on a second. Shooting skill. Uh, construction skill's pretty good. No, leave le leave Lady Tigress behind. Okay. So, what? Uh, not wildlife. Sorry, world. Select the northernmost camp. Form caravan. Adderall, the military tactician, and then all of the animals. Could you please gather them up and get them over back to Columbus Creek? Might be a bit of a mission. Okay, and get some simple meals. Or some nutrient paste meals, whatever. Uh, components, you might as well, yeah, carry some stuff back. Since, you know, it's here. Okay. And then head straight back home. Thank you, I'm a Dino Raw, the Angriest Bottle, D1 Assembler, Millimot, and Bert. Thank you, all of you. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Adderall's really slow. It's the Psychite withdrawal. Damn. Oh, shit. Um, is he going to be able to safely gather all these animals up? Oh, he's so slow. Wasn't expecting that. No, that's too much of a problem. <sighs> Cancel the caravan. Get him in the pod. Just get, just get him back. I just need to give him some drugs. Okay. Just get in the damn pod. We can replace those things easily. Thank you, Ilti. Thank you very much, Ilti. What are we doing? Unloading his infantry? What does that mean? Just drop that. Dude, get in the fucking pod. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so over back at the main colony, people are waking up. Oh, it's pissing it down. At least that'll wash away the rain. Wash away the rain. Wash away, wash away the blood. Meteorite. Limestone. Ignore it. Okay, so what's Chucky doing? Ah, Chucky, uh, Chucky's off to tend to El Cairo and Lawford. Good, good. Could you please do El Cairo first? And then Lawford. Podo is off to work in the fields, as is Gumball. Planting some potatoes. Sister's off to get some breakfast after that. Could I have you work on these turrets? Uh, yeah, turrets. Farron is off to go cleaning. Batman's still sleeping. Had a busy night. I need someone in the work. And we don't have Plasteel. Damn. Thank you, Lion, Duke, and Boo Boo Joe and Recall. Thank you very much. Is Adderall in the damn pod? No, he's not. Social's waking up to get some breakfast. Okay. After that, could you please pull the cow into the freezer. I still need these animals back home, so I need to, I need to send somebody. Where are you going with the... Oh, I guess, right. I don't have it configured to store corpses. Store animal corpses, but only the fresh ones. Make sure that it doesn't allow rotten. Should be fine. Okay. Right. After all, the military, the military tactician is being withdrawn. There we go. I have a fridge, not a freezer. It's minus three degrees. It's a freezer. 
Thank you, meme. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, so Chucky is off to get some milk. Why is the milk all the way out there? And why are you using that instead of anything better? Oh, because the nutrient paste dispenser is empty. All right, that's why. So, never mind that. Chucky, come indoors. Batman, can you... Farina, can you fill that up? Fill the hoppers with something. Sorry, why are we not filling the hoppers with rice? We've got a ton of rice. Holy shit, four extreme break risks. It's the Psychic Drone. Gumball, Farinir, Alcaro, and Adderall. God damn. Not good. You god, insect meat, really? No, I'm gonna disallow access to that random bit of milk. It's just gonna delay everybody. Why not? Oh, are you restricted from eating certain things, El Caro? Hang on. What is this dog one? Lily? Hold up. I can hear the dog eating eating something. Yeah, she's okay. She's she's probably just digging in the kitchen. <sighs> Food restrictions. What's up, El Caro? Anything. Outfits. Paste. You're allowed to eat paste. What's the problem? Uh, thank you, Dio and Lux. Thank you. I don't get it. A bulk goods trader. Yeah. Nice. We'll go trade with them. Hang on. So it's fully operational. Yes? So why are you trying to feed raw uncooked rice? Or raw beef? I don't get it. Okay. Use one of the lavish meals. Yeah, I, I don't understand why the game is so confused. Maybe I'm confused. Alright, feed raw beef then. We'll just get a debuff. I don't know why. Okay, and as for Farinir, eat one of the lavish meals. Same with you, Snow. And same with you, Adderall, when you get here. You're already here. Okay. Mr. Stromax is working to get some steel from the scrap metal. That's all well and good. Do we have any better tasks in the workshop? Stone block suspended. We have too many. We've got explosive shells. No, we seem to be okay. Um, okay. So here comes a bulk goods trader. What's going on over at the northern camp? So Pharaoh is so social is awake. Pharaoh is still sleeping. Lady Tigress is still injured. Social is just tending. Okay. Well, I need Pharaoh and Social to stay here. Damn. I need someone to get these animals back. Maybe I should just send someone to walk up there and come back down. Not very glamorous, but. Farina, can you do it? Yeah, she can do it. Okay. So selecting caravan, plus it will get Farinir away from the psychic drone. Let's do it. Thank you, Dr. Noak and Mayhem. In fact, have two of them do it. Let's get, yeah, get our ladies out of here. So, Snow and Farinir. Could the two of you just grab a couple of meals? You won't be gone long. Go up to that camp, grab the animals, come back. Go. Thank you, Mayhem. Disallow insect meat on the hoppers. Yeah, probably should, shouldn't I? It's a bit gross. Uh, is human meat allowed? Probably, because I must have mass selected. Animal 
products, meat. What is there? Insect meat. Did I allow it for all of it? Seems I did. How strange. Clear all. Copy settings, rather. Paste settings. Weird. Oh no, too late. Farron is off to binge on Psychite instead of going on the mission. Alright. I suppose it could be worse. Snow, you're going to have to handle all of it. Right, so what's Chucky doing? Chucky's off to wear some new trousers. Proto's playing games. Sizzler's off to build the turrets. Batman's training animals. Gumball is cutting grass to work in the fields. Finn's sleeping. Lawford's injured. Mr. Stromax. I was going to find Lady Tigress to build the turrets, but I guess she's on the away team. Psyche's off to drill at the drill? Um, yeah, okay. That works. Adderall's having a mental breakdown. Needs Psychite. Badly. Alright. Can we... It's painful to look at, Adderall. Can you get... Drink some damn Psychite. Okay. We're okay. We're just hanging in there. We don't need a... Can someone kill the damn rat? Alright. <sighs> oh, so what the... Look at this. Uh, that's supposed to be a dog. That's her favourite. She spends most of her life in that position. Sleeping with a smile on her face. Because she's got a belly full of duck mechanically recovered so it's not that not that uh, glamorous so it's like duck paste on kibble belly full of food and a warm sofa <laughs> okay Pharaoh's awake wakey wakey eggs and bakey okay so Pharaoh you're pretty yeah you're great at mining Let's have you just focus on that. In fact, there's loads of stuff you can actually bring in. Social, you bring this stuff in. And Pharaoh, you go mine this. Yeah. Get as many resources as we can. Where's Snow? Is she on her way? What, why are you forming... Oh, I see. Damn, the caravan is waiting for Farineers. Okay, removing Farineer from the caravan. Snow will just go. Okay, Lawford's on his feet. We're okay. <laughs> thank you, Jazz. I wouldn't say that, but thank you. What's Sisler doing? Still working on that turret. Hmm. Ah, good. Sarah Sunshine is off to binge on Ambrosia, which is a, a sort of tasty fruit that we've managed to harvest. Okay. Are there useless spoiled creatures in Rimworld? Uh, the occasional colonist. Uh, what was that really incredibly useless one that we had? He was so useless that while the colony was under attack, he started having a mental break because like the, the food wasn't good enough or something. What's his name again? No, not CJ. He was the nudist black guy. The artistic nudist black guy. Who? Who? Theo. That was it. Rock type. The, uh, yeah, Theo from uh, the Leafy Crevice. So, but yeah, he was like a child actor who had no skills at all. So he'd grown into ad adulthood with zero skills, and he was just completely. Uh, it was a total handicap. He ate the food, but he provided next to nothing. He couldn't defend the colony. He had no decent skills. Even worse than Lady, Lady uh, Tigress. Um, so eventually, we, uh, well, a group of colonists decided to confront him in the corridor about his skill set and um, tried to arrest him. And when he resisted, they beat the crap out of him, stuffed him in a bag and sold him to slavery. And they never mentioned him again. Thank you, Allied Wheat. Thank you very much, Allied Wheat. 
I, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's here, survival, you know, we're trying to survive here. We don't have time for child actor with no skills who's eating all the food and had a mental breakdown when people were dying in the defense of the colony. Anyway, let's go do some trading. Are you awake? Um, where is she? Gumball. So this is our evangelist preacher with, yeah, 41-year-old Gumball. Could you go and talk to the traders? See what we have to offer them. Okay. Adderall's all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's not the worst possible event, but it's a pretty bad one. The arrival of a poison ship. Oh, and we haven't built up our food supplies. That's frustrating. Okay. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Its, mysteri <clears throat> its mysterious influence will kill all plants in an expanding circle around itself. Destroy it as soon as possible, but beware. It will probably defend itself. Okay. Oh, hello. Trade window. Um, bear with me. So, this is a piece of an ancient ship, a derelict, that is leaking coolant. You'll see it appear like a white ring. But worse than that, it's not just it's not just gonna kill the plants in this area. <clears throat> it's going to suppress the growing rate of everything. Even hydroponics. Sorry, hydroponics. So whatever food we have, unless of course it's meat, it's probably gonna be all we have for the time being. Okay. Yep, that ripples in the water, the impact. So we're gonna have to destroy it which means we're going to have to fight synthetics. Sadly, they're also on the side of the base with very few turrets, so... Hmm. Actually, thinking about it, that could work to our favour. It means that the synthetics will probably chill the fuck out and go back to their subroutines. We do have the mortars, and we do have the ammo. We're actually... In a, yeah, we're in a fairly good position. My fear is that if we don't deal with it fast enough, we won't be able to gather a large enough harvest to keep the animals fed over the winter. Okay, so let's get everyone back then. Well, the combat capable people, let's get them back. Because effectively, well, thinking about it, we can send people back and forth via the drop pods. So maybe we should keep the animals over there, over here for now. Decisions. Decisions. Okay. Leave the away team where it is. Okay. The away team will stay. So, so uh, yeah. Hunker down. However, make sure that both colony and away team have drop pods ready, which we don't here. So, that's priority one. So, cancel the growing. So, everyone who has been assigned to uh, grow crops is hereby cancelled. Waste of time. Instead, please come inside, prep the drop pods in case we need to send people back and forth. We won't seal the doors yet, but soon. Do we have any hunting that we can do in the... Well, we've got enough food for now. Ah. Okay. I, no, I guess... I, I think we're good to go. Oh, uh, let's brick up this wall. Just in case the synthetics try to cut their way in. How, much, how many slate bricks do I have? Bear with me. Granite. Got loads of them. All right. So let's just um, prepare the defences. So brick up this, this wall, and there and there. <clears throat> I'm trying my best uh, to, to, to stock up on food, Scorpy, but it's difficult. There's a lot of mouths to feed, there's a lot of animals to feed, and we did have a... Well, we've got our fields growing as, as, many, as much as we can, but um, yeah, it's not easy when you've got a toxic event that lasted for most of the spring. And most of the summer. Thank you, Cuddles You. Thank you. Uh, sister, could you finish building it and then pick up the turret and move it? Or just leave it. It's fine. No, no, pick it up. Yeah. Just stick it in the corridor. Just keep it safe. Okay. Go do that and then start working on this and this. Thank you, Benny. Thank you. Okay, so let's prepare for this event then. Oh, I didn't do the bulk goods trading. So, Gumball, could you go back to the trader and apologize to them? 
Okay, you guys stay there. So for those joining the stream, this nine-year-old colony is trying to, trying to build the escape ship necessary to get off-world. And we're having, well, we're having to deal with some robots that are about to attack us because they think their ship is under attack. Sorry, can you bear with me a minute? I had a pint of water on my desk. No, I left it in the kitchen. Hang on. Okay, let's have a look then. So what can we purchase and what can we sell? So we have a few kittens. So MJ and Mo Dark Lady Sith. They're still alive, our two cats. So Catalina and Charade, the two cats. Yeah, they'll have nice new homes over there. Okay, so we got a couple of... Yeah, we, we, we're animal breeders, I suppose. we got some kittens for sale. So I'm going to sell them. Uh, they've got some turkeys we can buy. Uh, keep both of our huskies. They're useful. Why do we have 42 Yorkshire Terrier meat? Because we had some Yorkshire Terriers. There's we've got a lot of mouths to feed. You can't... You can't be a soft... Yeah. You gotta do your best, but frankly, if it's that or star. Thank you, Coyote. Thank you very much. You monster? Maybe, but we're alive. That's all that matters. Okay. They're selling one advanced component, but no, we'll make them ourselves. Do you have any plast steel? That's what we really need. What are you doing, sweet pea? Last deal? Can't see any. Nah. Alright. Do we need all of this leather? Wolf skin. Uh, they don't have much silver on them. They're not a passing trade ship. Okay. Sell these random clothes that we don't need. They're tattered. We can make better. In fact, keep... Yeah, fuck it. Keep most of our furs so we can keep making clothes. <laughs> okay. Good. We are making quite a few clothes. Well, we really need plast steel. That's, what, that's the thing we really, really need. I'll buy all of their steel and all of their components. So they've got 30 components. And they've got... Oh god, we've only, we've only got three Psychite tea? For real? We're going to need more than that. Oh. 260 units of steel. Okay. Scraps of leather. Uh, maybe I'm going too far with the components. Nah. Never mind the components. We're bringing, we're bringing lots in from the northern camp anyway. Sell the go juice before someone takes it. Mega sloth wool to sell. 600 units. We can make carpets out of that, can't we? Thank you, the ham fac three. Thank you very much, ham fac. Thank you. Ham face, even. <laughs> Thank you. Food? Get any food or animal feed I can from the trader. Yeah. They don't have much of it, actually, look. For real? There's barely any. Alright. Nah. There's no, there's no point. There's, it's summer. There's abundant animals we can hunt. Nah. 
Just do that. Leave it at that. So sell a few of our tattered clothes, buy their steel, sell a bit of leather. Thank you, Twiggy. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. Stay safe. We'll wait until they're off the map before we trigger the robots. Okay, Chucky is off to cook survival meals. Uh, where's Lawford? Are you working? Good. You're, yeah, you're at the tailoring bench. Just keep making clothes. As many as you can. We've got lots of raw materials that we can use. You alright, honey? Yeah, she's okay. Thank you, Twiggy. Thank you. Right. So, Chucky's off making survival meals. Uh, can we get some hunting done? El Caro has an extreme break risk resting in the infirmary. We'll be okay for the minute. Um, Psyche's off getting some plasteel. Good man. Wildlife alpaca. Yeah, we can hunt those. Hang on. Oh, no, don't hunt that group. They're too close to the robots. Just hunt some alpaca. Who's doing the hunting? Right now, Adderall, who's suffering and has a machine gun instead of a sniper. Sisla. You do the hunting with that weapon of yours. Yep, and then we'll have someone else. Snow. Where's Snow? Damn, on the carrot. I'm sending Snow off the map. Should I interrupt? I probably should. Uh, yeah, cancel the caravan. Come back, Snow. Situation's changed. I want you to build these defensive works. Thank you, Velkawam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, why has someone not repaired these? And thank you, Icky. Thank you very much, Icky. Right, Sisla's off to get a drink. Batman's hunting, uh, training the wolves. We're mostly okay. Ah, good. Lady Tigress is back on her feet again. Good. These animals, it would be wise if we could hunt them, especially with... Whoa. Hmm. How are we doing for food? We're okay? Ish? Who's handling the food in the northern camp? No one's cooking. Lady Tigress, you've just volunteered. Butcher that cow. I know it's not an ideal preparation area. Thank you, Psycho Killers. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps, perhaps I... Well, um, JP, regarding... Yeah, so doing like a, a long-form narrative type thing, considering this colony... Um, perhaps if my if my content was not already well established, I've already got a thing that my viewers expect, and it's not really this. They want comedy. Thank you, Malkaz. Thank you. Not yet, uh, Reaper. Thank you, Yalira and Samoplus. Thank you. What's Pharaoh doing? Meditating. Social's getting some wood. Is the psychic drone still in effect? It is, but it should be over soon. Gumball and El Caro. Where's Gumball? No, don't eat nutrient paste. Eat something nice. You don't want to sour your mood. Thank you, Mr. Bus Driver. Okay. Where's Snow? There she is. Okay. Why is there so much blood on the floor? It's okay. It's not ours. Okay, so Sisler is hunting some alpaca. Snow is just sealing off the east side just in case we have problems with the synthetics. Very good. Continue your work. 
Chucky's preparing some survival... No, some lavish meals. Suspend that job for now. Return to making some psychite tea. We're going to need a stockpile. Damn. Because of the... But yeah, so Batman, the hound mistress, is now wandering around in a daze. I'll need the, psychi uh, the psychic drone to end. Before I do this attack, a lot of my most capable colonists are women. I'll need them. Okay. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. My colonists are okay, but it seems that many of the hares in the area have been driven insane. How many are we talking about? A few, actually. Okay. Find them and destroy them. Bear with me. Small injuries will put people out for a few days. Let's be careful. One, two. Any more for any more? Sorry, bear with me. One there. Some of them might go for the merchants. Which could be a problem if the merchants don't check their fire. Alright, slap the turrets on, they'll assist. Is anyone outside? Probably Sisler with that alpaca. Just Sisler? Psyche too. He's got a minigun, he'll be alright. Alright, someone just slap the turrets on. We can control them from mostly from inside the base. Mr. Stromax, do that one quick. And who's down there? Anyone down there? Snow? Quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, don't shoot each other. Oh god, they did more damage to each other. There we go. Make sure everyone's, everybody's okay. Three more hairs remain. Psyche's under attack. Psyche's got two of them on him. There we go. Well done, Psyche. Um, yeah, come on inside. Get that get that wound seen too. What the hell? It sounds like a war zone going on over there. Oh, we best bring that in. That's the meat that we purchased. Podo, can you go get it? And go turn the turrets off. There we go. Good, good. Right, well the poison ship is, yeah, it's not active yet, but it's still suppressing our growing ability, so we'll need to deal with it soon. How are they? Are they okay? They seem to be alright. Let's get these uh, pods built. As I mentioned, they'll need to be quite high priority. Uh, yeah, social, if you could make a start, please. Can both of you? Okay. How are their injuries? They're okay. They're slight. Alas, EMP mortars, at least in the patch I'm playing through, have gone through a very significant nerf. Uh, there's not really much point. The freeze from a... So effectively the synthetics are frozen for a handful of seconds now. Whereas before it was like close to a minute. Now it's like 10 seconds or something stupid. So why hit the synthetics with an EMP when you can just hit them with a high explosive. Okay. Gumball and El Caro. Gumball's super upset. Can I get you to drink some... Go eat some Ambrosia. That'll make you feel better. What about El Caro? Still resting here. Someone feeding her? Yeah. Yeah, it is a tad frustrating. It, it it takes a it takes an important sort of fun tactical element against the synthetics away. They just become people. Just use the exact same tactic that you would on people. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. 
Okay, maybe we should go to ground. Yeah, we'll seal the doors tonight. Okay. So it's, what's the time? It's six in the evening. The colonists will be winding down momentarily. Snow, you haven't finished your work. Seal off this side of the base. Okay. How are we doing? We're mostly okay. Uh, no need to eat the nutrient paste. Are they restricted from eating the decent stuff? Possibly. Uh, restrictions. Sorry. A sign. Food. Yeah. Figured as much. It's alright. You can eat some nice stuff. Okay. How are we doing? I just need the damn psychic drone to end. Hi there, Kirito. Hello there, indeed. Hang on a second. I've got a visitor. What do you want, sausage? You still haven't eaten that treat. Hmm? There's a treat. Yeah, she's okay. She's had so many treats, and she's had like a like a chewy duck treat, and she's had like one of those dental sticks that you eat. She's had a full bowl of dinner. She's not hungry. She's got a full belly. She's a four-year-old, Imhotep. Imhotep, even. Yeah, she's fine. She's happy. Yeah, she has. Maybe I need to get into that ear with some cotton wool again. She doesn't like that. Makes a huge deal of it every time. Mrs. Stromax, what are you doing? Uh, no. Just stay away. You never know if it could trigger. Stay away. Come on, in, come on inside. Damn, the ambrosia fruit rotted. Should have put it in the fridge. Alright. Thank you, um, Pump uh, Eurelis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Is Lulu shy when meeting new people? Very much so, yeah. She she warms up to people in time, but she's quite, uh, she's quite shy. Thank you, Suicidal. Thank you. Okay. So everybody's going to settle down. I'm going to start restricting the doors. Don't know why I did that. They were already sealed. Is everyone inside? Quick head count. The people who are having mental breakdowns are not going to follow the orders. Yeah, wait for proper nightfall. Thank you very much, Pump. And Jexo, thank you sincerely. Take care, chicken. Sleep well, chicken. Okay. I should keep the away team busy. I just need them to focus on getting as much metal as they can, really. Whilst avoiding the local predators. Mm hmm. Silver ore. How much steel have they managed? Uh, sorry, how much steel have they managed to accrue? A bit, but we definitely need more. Thank you, Sir Nums. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you, DK Sith. Thank you. Right. Chucky, you can stand down. Hopefully, the, yeah. Hopefully, the psychic drone will end soon. Sisla, what are you doing? Hunting. Get to bed, Sisla. Everyone, get to bed. Right, so restrictions. Let's start putting them, yeah, putting them in place then. So, please have the colonists stay in the home zone. Don't wander out of it and into the line of fire of those robots. 
And please have all of the animals, so right now just the wargs, restricted to the toxic fallout area. So a bit more restrictive. I need you inside and safe. You'll have free reign to raid the fridge to your heart's content. That's okay. A muffalo is self-tamed. Oh, wow. Eh. It's over at the western camp. There's no one there right now. Thank you, noble insanity. And magic. Thank you. Okay. The psyche is fully healed. Good. Over your rabbit injury there. Don't go into the light. Okay. I'm good, uh, Kirito. I'm good indeed. Thank you for asking. Yeah, today was fine. I just did some editing. I uh, went, went Christmas shopping, which isn't huge for me. It's just money, alcohol, and chocolates for my cousins and my yeah, brother, brothers even. Yeah. I'm not, not really much of a Christmas person. I don't really celebrate it, really. It's just not for me. Okay. So everyone's resting apart from the people who are having mental breakdowns. So Snow is... Sorry, Sarah Sunshine is. Farron is mum. No, that's not good. That's one of the bad ones. So El Caro has decided to get up from the infirmary, having been put down earlier. Oh, Christ. So she's off to go and kill Sarah, who is having her own mental breakdown. Yeah, this is the psychic drone. She's so if you if you go over to the health set, so where is it needs? So the voice is unbearably loud. It's hard to concentrate. I find myself t uh, talking back at it, yelling at it, but it just keeps shouting. So she's got a voice in her head telling her to kill. I need someone to put a yeah knock her down or convince her to not resist. Hang on, where's Gumball? Here. She's very good at talking. Okay, can you drop the weapon? And go and try to arrest El Caro. Get her to chill the fuck out. Going to ignore that mission for now. Shit. Gumball, can you catch up, please? Psyche might have to also intervene. Please don't resist. Oh, she's resisted. God damn it. Psyche, go over, get over there. She's badly wounded, so don't be too... Forceful. Drop the minigun. Just punch her. Gently. Gently. Don't kill her. Oh, she's down. Thank fuck for that. Okay. Yep. Good. No injuries there. Looks permanent. Equip your minigun, Psyche. Gumball, you can... Oh, shit. You're quite badly hurt. God damn it, Elcaro. Take her to the infirmary. Someone needs to see to both of your injuries. We don't have time for this. What is this dog doing? <laughs> you alright, honey? What's wrong with your ear? Your ear's broken. Gonna have to, t gonna have to take you back. Get a new one. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, she's alright. Okay. Ah, oh, good. The psychic drone is ending, at least. But we'll have to deal with the injuries. Alright. I need someone to deal with the... The wounds that both of them have suffered. Anyone capable? No, they're currently all... It's fine, just wait until morning. Okay. So let's keep everyone restricted inside the base for now. We'll do local chores, but for the most part, I just need everyone inside and we'll get ready to fire the mortars. We need to wait until this group have cleared the area. Ah, they're leaving. Good timing. Okay. Right. Strange animal. Yeah, she's weird. She's alright, though. She's. Oh, sorry, Psyche. She's happy. She's got a belly full of food. She's got a warm sofa. She's had a fun day. She saw the dog sitter. She loves the dog sitter. Thank you, Sneaky. Thank you. 
Okay, people are chilling out. El Cairo is, yep, it's good. So Chucky, Finn, Chucky, Finn, or Sisler, who can do the doctoring? Oh no! Oh, the timing on that! God damn! We got a hive. Fuck! That's not good. Insects are about to break through. Now here's the thing that I can't remember. Will they go for us or will they chill out? I have a feeling they're going to go for us. Perfect, send them to the ship. The bugs attack robots? Fuck. Should chill. Perhaps, but bear in mind that I've put down incendiary devices. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to chill. Let's just wait and see. Let's seal the doors and wait and see. Okay. So is everyone inside? Just make sure that the people with mental breakdowns are not going to wander outside. I think we're okay. What I worry about is that they're just going to deck all the damn turrets, which is just it's a lot of steel to wait. There's a lot of steel to waste there. Okay. Well, here we go. Come on, ladies. I really need you to chill out. I need my warriors. I've got one, two, what, what, four people having mental breaks. Thank you, Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. Come. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, dear. Fuck, who is this? We, we, we can't, man. I'm sorry. That's a fuck. That's so many. We can't. It's some random dude. Wants to, wants us to help. We can't. I'm sorry. We can't. Oh, they're trying to tunnel? They're trying to tunnel into our base. You cheeky fucks. Okay. Are they going to stay calm? Farinir. Oh, shit. Who didn't finish that? God damn it, Snow! You were supposed to finish that! Chucky, finish it now! Ooh. Fuck. If I trigger the... God. Should I risk it? Are we gonna be okay, or are they on us? This could be really bad. This could be a colony wipe. Hang on. I'm intentionally not switching on my turrets because I want them to chill out. Are they going to chill out? Or are they just going to continue attacking forever? So here's the thing. Sorry, for those not familiar who are watching going, screaming, why am I not attacking? So if you don't touch them, the AI will chill out and go back to their base. But the question is, does a little bit of fire by an incendiary bomb count as me attacking them because if it does they'll keep attacking until we're wiped in which case we'll lose all the turrets and then we're in real real trouble so now's my choice now or never do nothing and hope or fight and also hope because we've got very few fighters right now manhunters attack humanoids since I uh, humanoids Do I wake the bots? I've never done that before. If I fuck up, if I fuck that up, this is a colony wipe. There is no doubt about it. Thank you, Reverse Banana. And, um... Muk Menifus. Thank you. It's a tough decision. They don't chill out, they come back in waves. No, it doesn't work like that. 
but the question I don't know how they uh, their uh, their AI responds to an incendiary bomb in their base. That's something I'm not familiar with. Regardless, what I will do is call an emergency withdrawal, em emergency wake up. Everyone wakes the fuck up. Okay. Seal these doors. Cool friendlies. There's no friendly that can stand against this. They'll be ripped to shreds. Any reinforcements that I call in. At best, there'll be a distraction. Meat. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I don't know what to do. Okay, fuck it. Let's... Even if it doesn't work, at least it'll be entertaining. Let's wake up the robots. Mr. Stromax, get on that mortar shell quick. Oh, fuck. Right. Charlie, finish that. Ch Charlie? Chucky. Proto, wake up and get to the rec room. Sisla, wake up to the combat position here. Okay. Farron is out. Batman's out. That means all of my hounds are out as well. Gumball is down. Finn is... Keep providing medical attention for now. Lawfoot is out. Mr. Stromax is operating the turret. Psyche is also operating the turret. Adderall on your feet. Get to combat positions. Okay. We're going to need quite a lot of luck to survive this one, everybody. Snow. Incapable combatant. Get to their rec room. Sarah. Bad position. She's not going to survive this one. If, they're, if they cut in. Are they going to cut in? Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, god, the relief on that. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. The bugs have chilled. That was their chill routine. It just kicked in. Did you see that? See that snap that they all did? That's the AI returning to their base. Everyone stand down. Off the mortar. Everyone stand down. We're okay. Oh. <laughs> We're okay. Okay. My god. They're chilled. They, they're chilled. Is there another incendiary device? Okay, well that answers the question. That answers the question. An incendiary device in their base. I think there's another one too somewhere. It won't cause a full-on assault. Okay. Off the mortars. Leave it. Everyone go back to your duties. Except for the builders, I want you to seal the doors now because Sarah and Farinir might go wandering out and get themselves eaten in the face. So, everybody... Chill. Oops, I just woke up the two people sleeping in the med bay. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, Chucky. Doors, seal them, all of them. That one there. That one there. And must admit, I need to do a better job at doing sealing sub uh, like routines over here. There, there, and there. Okay. Sorry, uh, dogs. Dogs on my left side now. Now, won't the fire spread and aggro them again? Possibly, which is why I'm sealing the doors. Let's get these doors sealed. So, Chucky, that one there. I just need people grabbing the granite and getting it built. Snow. Let's go. Quick, before one of our mental breakdown colonists decides to trigger them again. Okay. Missed the top corridor to the left. Did I? I did. Good shout. Thank you. That's not really sealed. They can walk around the base on the other corridor. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Stream break risk. Hi, Lulu. She's jumping up because she wants a cuddle. Okay. We're okay. Get that sealed. No, Sarah, 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 Sarah. She's about to break. Oh, fuck. Where okay, where is it? Where's the ambrosia? Where's the ambrosia? She's running for ambrosia. If it's in a position that's going to bring you to the bugs, then I have to attack you. Where's the ambrosia? How can I tell where it is? I can't. Food? 
So she's running to binge on a drug that she can see. Where though? It's like it's a bright yellow fruit. Was it dropped by one of the raiders that attacked us? I need to know because she's within melee range now, you see. No, no, she's she's beelining towards something. Fuck. What am I doing? What do I do? I'm gonna make the... Just grab her. Just grab her. Shit, she's resisting. Throw down your weapon. Throw down your weapon. This is Thromax. Throw down your fucking weapon. Punch her, punch her out. Quick. Okay. Mr. Stromax, the blacksmith, is trying to restrain. Okay, she's down. You just saved her life. Equip your longsword. I said equip it, don't hold it. I oh, need no, it. Okay. Finish that. Whoa, hold up. Destroy. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. You ripped her leg off. Fuck! Sarah just lost her leg. Mr. Stromax just used his power armor to rip her leg off. Well, I suppose, yes, that'll stop her walking, but you've also crippled her, dude. Sister, grab her quick. She's bleeding to death in the hallway. Mr. Stromax! Fuck, dude! Okay. How are we doing? Is this place sealed? Not yet. Quickly. Get this place properly sealed. Okay. And clear clear up your mess. Thank you, the tiger. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, what's Chucky doing? Off to get some breakfast. Okay, carry on. I need somebody working on that wall. Podo, after breakfast, I want you to go work on it. So yes, uh, in all seriousness then, will the robots attack the bugs? Because that, I mean, the bugs will easily overwhelm the robots, I reckon. So that will deal with our poison ship problem. Hmm. If I lure them over, shouldn't be a problem. The snipers are probably already in range. Okay. I just need my... I need my people to be... Uh, we'll do it, but I need my people to be healthier. We can't have my warriors bleeding or having mental breakdowns. Extreme break risk Alcaro. What's up? Are you guys being fed? Intense pain. Yeah. Okay. Keep everyone inside. Keep everyone safe. Uh, not really Doom Night Fury. They'll... Actually, no, I don't know what their specific targeting routine is. They'll make their way... They'll just sort of attack the base generally, initially. They don't tend to... So if I were to put a dude here, they won't, like, all bum rush the dude. They'll just sort of hug the base, I think. Uh, you'd, you'd know if they were chasing one individual person. You could kite them pretty easily if that were true. Do I have cryopods? Put the addicted colonists in there. I do, but that would give them cryo sickness. It's not really worth it. Unless they're extremely, you know, extremely fucked. Okay. Um, could you bear with me a second? I'm desperate for, for a wee wee. Okay. Back in a second, sorry.
This dog is desperate for attention, everybody. Holy shit. Hang on, let me just give her some. As you can probably imagine, fluffy toys don't last so long in this household. And sometimes I will enter the room to find fluff everywhere. And she's sitting in the middle of it with this look of, it wasn't me. Oh dear. Yeah, she's happy. Good girl. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Golden Sander and uh, Slushy Sorrow. Thank you very much. Right. For those joining the stream then. So, yes, the colony is on its ninth year and we're having a bit of a... Well, it could be an interesting situation. We've got a bug infestation and synthetics over to the east side. I don't think I've ever had that before, a situation where a hive could potentially attack some robots. So I don't know what's going to happen. Either way, I need to make sure that my colonists are ready, and they're not. Because my fighters are mostly recovering from injuries they've suffered beating the snot out of each other through psychic, um, well, going berserk. Okay. It's also quite warm, isn't it? 30, yeah, 36 degrees over there, yikes. Okay, so Farron is chilled out. So there's still one entrance to the base which isn't covered. Podo's doing it now. Hmm. Uh, synthetics were created to combat the insects, so they will attack each other, says Crying Panda. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Right. The bugs will attack the mechs for sure, but right now mechs will just attack the base from the north side while bugs defend the north. Uh, south, you mean. Uh, no, not true, uh, Hatorius. The poison ship will follow the, se the same routine as this. They will hold their ground, advance, and then with no viable targets, withdraw. So, yeah, should be fine. They will both stay exactly where they are unless the poison ship hits about 33% health. I don't know what happens with the hive, sorry. Regardless, this is a bit time sensitive, ne uh, time sensitive because the hive will expand as it grows three days until the next batch. Hmm... Still, that's why we invented napalm. On that front, do we have any napalm? We don't appear to. Let's have a look. Machining table. We have high explosives. Uh, napalm. Okay. Lawfoot, I have a job. Oh, you're having a mental breakdown. Mrs. Stromax, I have a job for you, sir. Put fire... In canister, fire at the bugs. Or, well, we will. What are you doing right now? Off to harvest rice? That's a noble goal, sir, but napalm right now, please. Extreme break risk. El Caro. Yeah, figures. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Okay! Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not so nice. Holy shit. What the fuck? Why are my animals hanging out in the middle? Oh, God. 
Guys, why why are you standing in the fire? My animals are standing in the fire. Okay, I, I I'm happy for you two. You've entered a relationship, but maybe not in the middle of an inferno. Can we get them out of there, please? Animals, back to area one. They're injured. Holy fuck, they're really injured. Guys, what the fuck's the matter with you, dumb asses? Okay, so fiery passion. So social charmed Lady Tigress by playfully making fun of her eloquence. Lady Tigress responded well and is now social's lover. Mm, well done. Social system and Lady Tigress now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. So the famous prostitute Lady Tigress is settling down with social system. Hmm. Not sure if there's any tread on the tires, but. Good for you both! Good for you! Well done. Okay. Double bed. Right. Get out of the fire. Pharaoh, are you badly. Oh, you dumbass. He's badly burned. Okay. Yeah, that fire could be a problem. It's creeping closer. Um, thank you, Drexler. Thank you. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to use the steel to make some concrete as a fire break. Thank you, El Monte. Thank you. Social, can you go get to work on that? <sighs> Fun times here on the Rim World, as you can see. Right. Just get my people healed as quickly as we can. It's going to take some time, though. Sorry, what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, deep drill. Not sure we need the granite, though. Okay. Thank you, Commander Dolphin. Thank you. Uh, you two need to move reasonably quickly. Yes, it does storms, which is why we have incendiary devices in the same room as the deep drill. Just in case. And restrict that for the minute. Oh, I hate that they do that. They do one tile, then they bog off. Build it, dude. There we go. Lawfoot's starving. Why are you starving? Oh, mental breakdown. Okay. Mr. Stromax, how are you doing with those incendiaries? Good man. Ah. That could be a problem. The bugs think that that wall is part of the terrain. They might start tunneling through it naturally. That would give them an avenue of attack, or rather, they would just let them attack the solar generators. That's annoying. Um, okay. Well, we can deal with that if we move if we move quickly by putting a quick wall here. Let's prioritize that work. Chucky? Psyche, do it as quick as you can. Oh, fuck me. I hate it when they just wander up. Like, oh, I'm going to half finish this job. An alpaca has self tamed itself. Okay. How are we doing? 
looks okay, but yes, I would get rid of those trees if I were you. Are any of the animals really badly injured? No, this should be okay. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Make that wall a bit smaller. We should be okay. I need to keep it sufficient distance from their nest. Okay, Psyche. Oh, I see. It's outside the home area. Of course. Of course. Unrestrict you for the moment, Chucky. Yep, same with you. As quick as you can, please, gentlemen. Get as many granite bricks as you can. Well done, Psyche. One brick. Sorry, four bricks. Your contribution is boundless. Lawford is no longer hiding in his room. Okay. Come on, haul ass. If the bugs tunnel in here, we could potentially lose some of the relatively expensive turbines and solar panels. In fact, looking at what the bugs are tunneling, they might actually bring the roof on themselves. <laughs> uh, if they interpret that as an attack, fuck them. Oh, the colony attacked us. You just tunneled the roof down. Ugh. Right, I'm ordering you to finish the job. Don't just go, oh, look at the time. It's time for lunch. Because if you don't get it built, then the bugs can eat the solar panels, which is not its not a disaster, but it's not, not ideal. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not right now, Finn. Do some mining later. We need to build more wooden furniture in here in case of bugs. Thank you, Remlap. Thank you very much, Rem. Quite a few of them, holy shit. 28 soldiers, 18 workers, 21 little shitty things. Oh, there's that bug going through that bit there. You boys better hurry. That's one of their dedicated tunnelers as well. Hey. You boys better hurry, proper fast like Sisla, not the time. Come on, let's go. Let's haul that ass. It's not gonna take. The, it's not gonna go for a twofer. No, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Volatile. We're okay indeed. Hope you're well. Before the stream is over, I would like to trigger the the bugs, the robots. But I just need my warriors to be ready. Look, medium. Okay, they're healing slowly. Give it another night. Uh, Psyche is going for a walk. Maybe over there. Good to hear it, Volatile. Good to hear it. Well done. Oh. oh. Okay, hurry up, Sisla. If one of them goes for the <laughs> for the, the second goes for a twofer. Could be in trouble. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Don't panic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Plant some mines. No, no. I want to try and and keep this as controlled as possible. Ah. Uh, excuse me. Why is one of our one of our walks is outside? Was it already outside? I guess so. It must have been outside sleeping when we sealed off the base. Sorry, dude. Thank you, Noah and Animo. Thank you very much. Well, you're just going to have to stay alive for a bit. Here comes Sisla with the other brick. They're having a conversation about boots. <laughs> Good to hear it, Volatile. Hope you're well. 
alien isolation is damn good indeed. Thank you, Dr. Pugh. Thank you. So for those joining the stream, we have some genetically engineered giant insects that are eating a section of our wall. We do need to deal with them, but carefully. Fuck it up, and it could kill everyone. They could kill everyone. So, we just need to play this, play our cards right, you know? Okay, over here, I'm just going to expand area one away from the deadly fire. Pharaoh, why are you running towards the deadly fire? Because steel. Alright. Okay. Yes, indeed, Ellis. I would like to do it again. Bollocks. El Caro is depressed. Thankfully, the doors are sealed, so she can't go anywhere. Okay, Gumball and Sarah. I need you two ready to fight soon. So this is why we sealed the doors. El Caro would ignore the order to not go outside. Now she physically can't get outside. Also, just in case. Yep, bollocks. Need to extend that wall further. They can get in. Chucky's off to play horseshoes. Um, shit. Oh, that's inconvenient. Well, we can just re replace the bricks later. Sisla, you too. Fine, Chucky's going to do it. It's going to block that thing, isn't it? It is what it is. Building a roof? Nah, it's fine, man. I ignore roof area. Flash storm has been detected. It's at the southern camp, which is currently abandoned. Mm, pretty. Right, so am I doing this then? We'll do it tomorrow morning. Make sure everyone's fed stuck in so if if this goes to plan then we won't well we won't be doing much battle at all because the turrets will be handling mopping up the mess but if this doesn't go to plan then it's all hands on deck so I want to make sure that everyone is has had breakfast has slept and is ready how long until the hives reproduce some of them in a couple of days but I'm a little bit worried that they're just going to eat through the wall very soon if we don't deal with them. And we've got the problem that there's only two days left of summer and we haven't even got the first harvest in. So, you know, fire? Oh, let's ignore it. So we're going to need like 15... 15 to 20,000 units of hay just for the animals over the winter when there will be no grass for them to eat. We've got a lot of animals. A lot of animals. Um, hang on a second. Social and Lady Tigress. There you go. If you two wanted to do the deed. The bugs are sleeping. They need sleep too. Did I build those colonies as well? Yes, indeed. So they're small resource gathering. Like, you can see the ruins of the places that we've built. We go there, we harvest resources during the summer, then we come back during the winter. Okay. How are we doing? Well done, Sisla. Good man. I know, Sarif. It's great, isn't it? Yes, speaking to everyone in the chat, I do very strongly recommend this if you haven't given it a go. In fact, I recommend just re read no guides. Read no guides, watch no videos. 
Uh, hell, even don't watch the stream. Um, it's one of these games where figuring out how it all works, um, you, it, it's much more satisfying. Damn. Next person's in a, in a daze. Gumball. So, you will get attached to people, you will lose colonies, uh, and as a result it hits, it hits you. You get attached to your, your people and you see them go through their stresses, and when you lose them it sucks. But when you get to the point where everything's going smoothly and the game has no diff- as in, the initial learning curve is really fun. You'll lose people to infections, to fires, to raids, or just shitty luck. And each time it's... yeah, it's awesome. Okay. A avoid the temptation to play it on, say, easier difficulties, or make the mistake of looking at it and going, Oh, it's a building game! It's all about building a big colony, and making everything work perfectly. If anything, it's a, it's a drama game. It's about watching these people, you know, an architect turned chef, a former Alzheimer's sufferer, uh, a lady that can't escape her mum no matter how much she tries. It's about watching these people go through their, well, adventure. Okay. So, it's midnight. I need everyone to get some food in the morning and get ready for battle. Well, not battle. The plan is not battle. If we do open battle, this has gone wrong. The plan is... Have the, the the synthetics fight the robots? Uh, shit! No, no, no! <laughs> oh, no, we can't do that. I can't. I'm sorry. So our allies have uh, one of them is desperate for safety. He wants to come in because he's being chased by bandits, but we can't. We can't. We can't. If 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 we don't know which way they're coming in on, if they come in on the north. And they weaken us further? And my people are injured? A triple raid situation? We're fucked. Just do it, you pussy. <laughs> Says Digi. 60? Oh, come on, guys. It's crazy. And look, we've just gone to bed and we haven't had food? I'm gonna flip a coin. Where's the coin? <clears throat> if this goes wrong, it's the end of the colony. Just, just a... Oh, fuck it. <coughs> I just said that the game isn't fun when you play it safe. I need a coin! There's literally... Hang on. Tails we hide, heads we fight. Tails we hide, heads we fight. Tails we hide. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Holy shit. Holy shit! We just rolled sixes. The guy we're trying to save is on the same side as the bugs, which means the raiders are gonna come straight in and attack the bugs, right? This is gonna be very, very, very interesting. Now what do I do? So this is our ally, he's running in. Will they stay sleeping long enough for him to run past them, or what? Or do I just go, fuck it, just get in? Because they're all sleeping, right? All of them? They're all sleeping. Run. Run? How fast How fast can you run? Gear? Very light. The base is sealed, indeed, so I'll have to pull something down. Just run, just run, 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 run. Quick, 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 run. Oh, this could be amazing. This could this could be really fucking okay. Holy shit! 
So the 60 odd raiders are about to come in and attack. Trouble is, the moment they fire a shot, will all the bugs wake up? Would he be able to outrun? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, here they come. Holy shit. Who are they anyway? <gasps> They're so well armed. It's the... Wait. Oh, sorry, no, I made a mistake. Sorry, he's... Who is he? He's being chased by the egalitarian Ken League. Sorry. There are... Yeah, there are old enemy, aren't they? My mistake, I got it mixed up. Okay. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, it's gonna be... It's a train wreck. It's a... It's a... It's a train wreck. Holy shit, it's a train wreck. Okay. I can't believe this has just happened. Okay, so... Can I get a volunteer to go on the mortar and wake up the bugs just if... if well, actually, no. No, fuck. Leave the robots. Leave the robots. They won't be able to join the fight anyway. They're, on the, they're too far away. Oh, my God. Oh, you suicidal motherfuckers. <laughs> right, run that way. Oh, you suicidal motherfuckers! Wow! Okay, hold, just run. Don't stop. So I'm just gonna babysit this dude. Oh, I've never seen this before! Are you kidding? Wow! That guy just ran into the hive! My god. Hang on, just keep running? A mad squirrel to top things off, everybody. Hey, to their credit, they're doing okay. How many are left? 22. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Bear in mind, there were 28, everybody. Oh, they're getting mauled. They're getting, they're getting, they're getting shredded. Holy crap. For our part, action station. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted by the, the pretty lights. Uh, this, bear in mind, whoever wins may turn on us, so let me to finish them off. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Everyone to your station. Sisla, move here. Farinir, you stay out the way. Batman, you go here. Gumball, out of it. Finn, you come over here. Just get everybody ready. Lawfoot, grab your gun and come over here. Stromax, over here. Psyche, the factory worker, come over here. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Why are you walking at this time? It's two in the morning. Andrew, get your, uh, your machine gun and go here. Snow, you stay out of this. Sarah, you stay out of this. Paramedic, you run on in. Um, can you go there for a second and wait by that button? So it may look like they're doing okay, but look at this! There's 11 of them, practically untouched. You know, triggering the robots would be a really arsehole thing to do. <laughs> Baron here. Oh, you're a pacifist. Um. <laughs> fire. Uh, hold fire? Now fire. Fire. All of you get ready. There we go. Reload it. Oh, please hit. Oh, is it? Oh, dude. Oh, fuck's sake. Hang on a second. Um, paramedic down. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Some of the I, bollocks. They chased him. I didn't notice that. Oh, shit, fuck. I did not notice that at all. Oh, dear. He'll die in seven hours. Well, actually, there's a small contingent of bugs. Let's go deal with them. All of you. Get over there quick. How are we going to trigger the robots? Oh, I can't because it's blocked this way. Sorry, I, I thought you were... I, I was When the chat said rip that guy, I thought you meant because I said stay by the button. And I... Yeah, I wasn't taking him into the walls. Okay, thinking. They've actually done damn well, which means the raid is still on. Which means they're coming at us. They have done well, but it won't take much to break them. We could... Priorities. Sorry. Priorities. 
defense of the colony. Get these turrets online quick. Someone pulled down one of those bricks. More bugs will spawn. Don't worry, we'll deal with it then. We've got time. Uh, leave him. He's... We need... Damn, we need the... Ah, that's annoying. You're going to start destroying turrets. Destroy the human raid first, then we'll deal with that. This time. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Lawfoot kick that. So as Lawfoot moves through, he kicks the switch. Everyone else wait there. Adderall, get over here. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Turrets come online. Oh, they're actually attacking the hive. Oh, holy shit. I didn't think they would. No, they're coming, though. Thank you, McLeod. Thank you. Can I run Sisler over there fast enough to shoot that? Where is he? Maybe? Sisler, can you run there quick? I need someone with a sniper rifle to take a shot at that. Maybe a couple of mortars will do it? Okay, who's done, who's done doing that anyway? Is it Stromax? Oh, dude! Oops! No! Oopsie doopsie! Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, can we call them off? Will you chill? No, bollocks. Oh, I've got to put down one of my wargs. Shit. I misclicked. That sucks. I'm sorry. Damn it. I haven't done a very good job with this, am I? Okay. So I just need to babysit people. Sorry, I'm so sorry, purple. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll okay. He's okay. Faraday, go rescue him quick. Mr. Stromax. I see it's because it was restricted. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. Deconstruct the wall. Turrets to come on. Here we go. Nah, they never make up their own time. Uh, Batman, we need your wargs. Dude. Gumball's... Gumball, what are you doing up? Mental break. Finn. 24 seconds till that's loaded. Take that one instead. Damn it. I thought these were calibrated. Fire that one. Oh, who didn't load the damn guns? I gave someone a clear order. Need to micromanage my warriors now. This is throw max. Time is money. Oh shit, well of them. Ah, that failed. Damn it. Okay, now we've got to deal with the raid. It's weakened, but we've got to deal with it. All right. Um, Chucky. No, can't do violence. Let's get them to the rec room to safety. Podo can't do violence. Baroneer is saving a walk. Batman is ready for the fight the moment we get out there. Thank you, Banana Bill, Mallow, and Renimus. Thank you. Gumball's having a mental break. Finn is on the mortar. I need you here. Adderall, I need you here. Snow on the mortar. Sarah's resting and hurt, but I need you on the mortar. Come on. Dude, come on. Come on, come on, come on, dude! Fucking do this! Let's do it! Right, out, 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 out. Oh, we go. Go, 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 go. Fuck him up! Send in the hounds. Send in the hounds. Let's go. Mr. Stromax, a little bit too enthusiastic there, sir. Be careful, they're mostly... Okay, hold up. Uh, Batman, hold here. Stromax, hold here. Finn, let's go. Adderall, let's go. Reconnect the auto cannon. Has one been disabled? Uh, why can't we reconnect it to the inner? That's weird. Hey, what's that about? Why can't we reconnect it here? There's lots of them. Holy shit. How long until they break? Are they out? Get the walker out. There we go. 
Oh, there's lots of them. So many of them fighting. Here they come. Here they come. Mr. Stromax and Batman quickly cross the back and take them off. That one there, actually. Oh no, one of our wolves is down. Mr. Stromax, take that one there. It's over, they're fleeing. Cut them down. Well done, well done. Can we recall the wolves? Probably not. Uh, right, Batman get in there and assist your walk. Right, what about the others up here? Are they out? Ah, the bugs. Some of them survived. Okay. Paramedic dead? Not yet. Five hours, though. Okay. Oh, shit. That was expensive. Okay, we need to deal with the bugs now. Ignore the humans. Mr. Stromax, take that one. Batman assist. Okay. Damn, we lost Gigi. So there's one soldier. Hold up. Trouble is the um the bloody little bugs are hard to spot. Did you get it? Yeah, it's gone. Save paramedic? Yeah, we will. Paramedic can walk. Best moving quick then. Get away from that bug. Okay, let's get my fighters up there then. Let's go. Let the turrets clean up the bugs down here. Where are you going? Oh, I see. I blocked it. Let's go. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the injured. Is anyone in immediate risk of death? No, we're okay. Good lord. Okay, just paramedic. And of course we lost G yeah, Giggy the wall. Holy shit, everybody. Holy, holy shit. Stop the mortars. Good shout. Stand down. <laughs> At the cost of one walk? That's, that's not bad. Paramedic come inside. Get away from them. So what happened to the other bugs? Wait, someone just triggered a foot trap. Must have been that guy. Shell the hives. We'll get in there and start meleeing. Okay. Get this guy in. Pull that brick section down. Who can do it fastest? Psyche, maybe? Uh, cooking, construction. Yeah, you're all a bit crap. Yeah, Psyche. Okay. Unrestrict all the animals. Yeah, indeed. The dead raiders will have some goodies on them. Quick, pull that down. Hold their paramedic. I'm just worried about any bugs jumping us out of nowhere. Yeah, how are the animals as well? So defeat the warg. Die oh, damn. Defeat will die in one hour without medical attention. We best be quick. Okay. And Quantum? Shit. Five hours. Someone go rescue Quantum quick. Uh, Sisler is waiting. Yeah, I need you over here. Hodo, go and get Quantum Noble, quick. Where's Purple? Already wounded, dies in seven hours. Send Chucky. Yep. Already tending. Go on, pull it down quick. Check wildlife for bugs. Are they listed here? I was unaware. Come on, pull it down. How was that? 
She's out. Just let her go. Okay, well done. Right, paramedic, you get into the infirmary. Okay. Who's the best? Well, I suppose Chucky, Sisler even. Damn it, he's having to go around. Who's the best doctor amongst you? Uh, medical down there. Adderall, maybe. Anyone, just just grab quick. Pull him in. Right, you will stand down. Paramedic just collapsed. Get him in. Shit. Don't think we can save him. Holy crap. What a battle. What a battle. Oh, someone needs to turn those northern turrets on. Just in case there's any more bugs out there. Podo? Thank you, Alistair. Hi there, Alistair. Thank you, sir. Hey, I'll never get in there in time. Um, where's Sisla? Run in there. Extreme break risk Finn. Watching TV. Yeah, just chill. So people are shaking. They've still got the adrenaline high. Sitting there watching TV. Okay. Yeah. This is a lot of good insect meat as well. We shouldn't waste it. Get it in the fridge. Get it butchered for, for dog food. We could mortar attack the hives, but it's a bit of a waste. Sister, hurry. Okay, I just need to go through and babysit. Hang on. Defeat is there. Purple will make it. Quantum Noble will die in four hours. Off to go rest. Well done, Quantum. Rodeo, yeah, Rodeo's okay. My own people? Need medical attention? Wait, slave's running away from something. You've seen a bug? What's up? Something living? Yes. Not all the bugs are dead yet. Okay, we'll need to deal with that. Okay. Power reserves are holding. Paramedic needs to get tended to. Okay, quick. Can you save him? Oh. Quick. No, there's no time to get any meds. Just do what you can do. Train. Animal downed. Feed. No, no, I want you to... Oh no. Yeah, you are a decent medic. Is someone else doing it? Oh, I said no care. Oops. Thank you. I thought it was no medical attention. Hurry. Just try to tend to anything. Doesn't matter. Shit, one of the turrets. What's this in? No idea. Five seconds. Oh, God, no. We tried. Rest in peace, defeat. Oh! No, it's gone. Fuck. Well, that's what they're bred for. All the same. Rest in peace. We ask so much of them. They give it willingly. Snow, just get in. Stop fucking around. Thank you, Tofu. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's tr yeah, get our own people sorted. Sisla, I need you in there quick. We'll die in three hours. Okay. 
Yikes, that looks pretty bad, but it's not the it's not our camp. Okay. So alas, looking at the time folks, I would love to continue, but it is getting a bit late. It is about half past ten. So yes, quite an eventful stream at the very least. We've managed to Holy sh I've never seen that before. So we had a raid in the exact direction as a large hive of bugs. And they pretty much wiped the... F I I'm surprised that they won, really. I'm surprised they managed to take out the bugs. But they did. Now, the bug threat isn't over. We need to eliminate their hives. So I need to send a combat team over there with swords as quickly as possible to chop them down before they can h hatch new ones. And, of course, we'll need to deal with the poison ship. But at least now that complication is... Well, one complication is out of the way. Okay, so... The base is still structurally sound. Nothing is compromised. The turrets are also ready to go. So heal the wounded. Get them fed. Send two swordsmen over here to chop down the hives. And finish off any wounded bugs that are still in shock. Okay. And then we'll deal with that. Right. Thank you for watching, everyone. So that was a bit of RimWorld. The nine-year-old colony continues, well, fighting the various random events to try and escape. Yeah, wait a minute. One survivor. Not for long. Dies in three hours. No chance. Okay. So, yes, we're continuing to try and build this escape vessel, but but we require plasteel and gold, so we need to work on that as best we can. Once we have both of those, and, sorry, an AI core, we, we're good to go. We're good to leave. So, yeah. Just need to hang in there, as you can see. It's a bit tooth and nail. Right, so... Also, please know that I'm working on the latest bullshittery. Uh, I always am, effectively, for those not familiar. Uh, it's Space Engineers Part 4. This is the fourth week of work, and I'm roughly on the eighth minute of 20. So there's still a lot more to do, I'm afraid. I'll be working... Uh, I mean, this is like a seven to eight weeker. I'll do my best, but holy shit. So, um, yeah... Bear with me. Yeah, just kind of cracking on. Uh, not really much happening in that regard. Just continuing to, yeah, just continuing to keyframe, and we'll hope to have it ready for you as soon as I can. Really. Right. Okay. So have a good one. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. I'm gonna bog off and go to bed. Right. Let's have a look and see who's doing what. Bear with me. So ZF. Uh, okay, so Quebec is doing Viscera cleanup detail. Digby is doing squad. SWAT Knight is doing just chatting. Wait, what is this? Fucking hell, Twitch. I can't even see what they're doing because they just shoved the adverts in my face. Harry is... What on earth is Harry doing? He's drawing something in paint. And, <laughs> and BC is doing League of Legends. Okay, uh, in which case I will hand you over to... Do, 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 do. Who haven't we hosted in a while? SWAT is building a sim rig. Oh, really? Okay, in which case I'll hand you over to SWAT then. That could be interesting. Not sure when he started, but... Uh, yeah, so SWAT Knight is building something. So, yeah, feel free to watch a very, very, very German man build something that's very, 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 very expensive.